Welcome! In this video, we will cover the similarities and differences when performing compensation in Flojo and FCS Express. We will look at how to load your controls for compensation, use each of the wizards, examine the output of each wizard, and see how compensation is applied to sample data files when completed. Let's first start with loading data. With Flojo, you start with the workspace and then you drag your files into the workspace window. You'll notice that in the group area, there is a category called compensation. This category compensation only has one file, the universal control file. Since not all of the controls are in the compensation group, we will drag the additional single stained controls from the all sample group to the compensation group. Once we have all of our controls in the compensation group, we will select the compensation wizard icon to open the wizard. With FCS Express, we first open the wizard from the Tools tab by selecting the Compensation and Unmixing button. We can then anchor the window to the side if preferred. Next, we press the blue plus button and select the compensation from the dropdown. We will now load data files into the wizard either using a drag and drop as shown or by selecting the folder icon in step one. Once data files have been loaded, compensation is nearly complete, as indicated by the new pages created in the FCS Express layout, which you can see towards the bottom of the screen. A difference between Flojo and FCS Express is that we are not using separate groups or windows to perform compensation. Flojo has created gates and histogram markers for each single positive control. You will evaluate each plot and gate on those plots. If a gate needs adjustment, you will double click on the plot to open a new window, make the change, and then close the window. In FCS Express, when reviewing plots and gates, you will work in a page tabs rather than separate plot windows. Like Flojo, FCS Express has plots with gates and markers for each single stain and negative control that we will review and adjust, but controls are distributed on separate page tabs, as you can see. With FCS Express, once you have single color and negative control files loaded in the wizard, the individual pages will be automatically created for scatter gating. For each single stain control and separate pages for spillover spreading and cross stain index matrices will also be automatically created. Your compensation is already complete if no updates to the gating are needed, but we do recommend reviewing all tabs and gates. We have navigated through each tab to evaluate how well the automatic gating for each compensation control was performed and made adjustments as needed. To do a final review of the compensation and visualize the compensation and spillover spreading matrix in Flowgel. You will click on the View Matrix button to open the Compensation Matrix Viewer. If changes to the compensation gates are needed, you will click on a plot to open up a new plot window. Adjust the marker or gate, close the window, and choose Edit, which will create another compensation matrix from your edited markers or gates for the use in the analysis. If you'd like to visualize the spillover spreading matrix, you will click on the SSM button. To do a final review of the compensation and visualize the compensation and spillover spreading matrix in FCS Express, you will click on the spillover spreading or cross stain index tabs to visualize those matrices and you can access the compensation or spillover matrix values from the tabs in the compensation and unmixing dialog. Remember, these were automatically created and displayed previously. If changes to the compensation gates are needed, you will navigate to the associated control page, adjust the markers, and the results in all the matrices will update in the real time. These updates are automatically saved to the matrix. In Flojo, Saving the compensation matrix to use with experiments is done by selecting Save Matrix button and choosing to save as a Flojo matrix file. 
choose a name for the matrix file and click Save. In FCS Express, navigate to the disk icon in the Compensation and Unmixing Navigator, enter a file name and click Save. To apply the compensation matrix to samples in Flojo, you will load a file into Flojo. Select Edit Compensation Matrix in the Tools, then load the compensation file matrix that you had previously saved. Once you have imported the matrix, you'll drag the matrix to your sample or sample groups. Files can then be analyzed. Parameters that have been compensated will appear with the comp prefix from the list of available parameters. In FCS Express, to apply the matrix to your samples, open the compensation and unmixing in the Tools tab. You will load in the saved compensation matrix by clicking on the folder icon, selecting the matrix you had saved previously and click Open. You will right click on the loaded compensation and choose Set as Default. Setting as Default will ensure that the saved compensation will be used, while also allowing you to access any compensations from the time of acquisition as needed. We will now load the data into the data list. The file will automatically use your imported compensation and be analyzed as desired. With FCS Express, parameters are not prefixed with comp, but the title of the plot will include the file name suffix with compensated to indicate compensation has been applied. As we saw, Flojo and FCS Express share many similarities when it comes to compensation. You will need good controls for negative and single stain samples. A wizard is used to perform compensation. Compensations are saved as a separate file and then applied to your data for final analysis. The major differences between Flojo and FCS Express pertain to the number of different windows and interfaces needed. In FCS Express, the compensation wizard integrates directly into your layout with all the compensation controls and gates organized into a page tabs. As gates change on your compensation controls in FCS Express, the final compensation matrix and other visualizations like spillover spreading and cross staining update in real time in response to the changes. If you have any additional questions, please contact us at support at denovosoftware.com.